Good afternoon and welcome to the first edition of Bobcat Update for the fall semester. I'm Hannah Rucker and I'm Molly Dodge. The project is set to start on October 19th and is supposed to take about 30 days to complete. The city is hoping that this drainage work will allow small businesses to continue their work without any issues with flooding. With Bobcat Update, I'm Hannah Rucker. Thanks guys. We did have a little bit of a chilly morning. It was in the low 40s, but let me tell you right now in San Marcos, it feels amazing. A significant portion of LBJ Street was shut down for two years due to construction. The closure was phase one of a major project, which caused some problems after heavy downpours last spring. Some small businesses experienced flooding. Sure enough, it did. As soon as I saw it come, you know, halfway up the sidewalk, I ran to the back, tried to get anything, um, towels, mops, and by the time I came back, it was already gushing in. There was nothing I can do. I started freaking out. Phase two will affect University Drive near Chipotle. It is hoped that when the project is completed, water will flow toward the drainage system rather than onto sidewalks and into shops. Definitely needs some work. Uh, hopefully they fix it because they have all those stones out there to try to direct it away from us, but it looks like crap. I mean, they spent two, almost three years redoing the sidewalks and then they put these giant blocks there. Following the spring floods, owners of several businesses on LBJ contacted city council members to express their anger. They were upset that the initial drainage work had not been enough to manage the water flow. They wanted phase two to address the problems. We wanted to make sure that they knew is that we understood their frustration and we wanted to find the best solution for them. And that would be the solution that doesn't waste taxpayer money redoing something that was already there and, and really making them feel like it wasn't a mistake. Ron's first ever KFC may also be its last. A Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant opened its doors on Sunday in Tehran, but was closed after 24 hours for being too American. Iranian police shut it down because the decor apparently too closely resembled the U.S. flag. Iran's Supreme Leader called the KFC restaurant a red line that should not be crossed. Texas State students and officials are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Higher Education Act, which was signed into law on campus in 1965. Putting his signature on the bill was the university's most famous alumnus, President Lyndon Johnson. The legislation provided something many people at the time couldn't imagine, an affordable education through low interest loans and scholarships. Many speakers at a ceremony today, including University President Denise Troth, stressed how important affordable education is. The San Marcos Regional Animal Shelter is helping pet owners reunite with their lost animals after recent floods devastated the city. The shelter has taken in 30 stray animals since the disaster struck Halloween weekend with animals being brought in from all over the area. Owners who lost pets during the flood are asked to visit the shelter in River Road with an ID and identify their pet. The shelter is also encouraging owners to get their pets microchipped as this can help pet owners keep track of their furry friends. But this storm is actually going to move up north towards Chicago, and that's going to last for the next couple days as well. So we have some severe weather going on there. But I guess it's a good place to be in Texas right now with these clear skies. Later tonight, though, it is going to be a little bit cooler. It's going to be 48 degrees, so be sure to bundle up with that. And tomorrow's high is going to be 75 degrees, sunny. Nice day once again. And Friday, the high will be 72, partly cloudy.